afternoon. This is the video update for Buy Sell Short for Tuesday, January 7th. Uh, you know, the start of this year has just been absolutely fantastic. Uh, small cap stocks doing exactly what they are supposed to do this time of the year. However, today is being called the first real up day of the year. Uh, nice big bounce, especially after yesterday's uh, little bit of a sell-off. Not uncommon this time of the year, as we've said many, many times over the last couple of weeks. We tend to see large cap stocks see a little bit of profit taking early in January and small caps outperform because they are typically the stocks that get sold off in November and December. Now, we're not going to spend a whole lot of time on the indices tonight because really, if there's one time of the year where it really doesn't matter what the major indices are doing, it's right now, small cap mania. Real quick mention though, Dow Transports actually looks really, really solid. RSI bounce off the 50 level. If we look at the Dow daily chart, we've got a little bit of a bullish rectangle formation with very strong support at 16,400, breakout at 16,600. Just eyeballing this chart right now, it looks like we're going to get a breakout to 17K. And you recall back in October and November, that was my price target for the January, February time frame. We could see that within the next few days. Chart looks great here. You know, just to mention why we can't really pay much attention to the large cap indices right now. Here is the Dow 15 minute chart. We had this trend line in place. We broke through it and then rallied right out of that thing just like that. Indice we are really concerned about, or not concerned, looking at is the Russell, small cap stocks. And you can see we have also a bullish rectangle set up on the small cap stocks. We've got RSI holding above the 50 level. We still have lots of upside room in stochastics. We've got this downward resistance line that's been really in place since the end of November. And we saw... Similar thing in the Dow Transports, which usually mirrors what we see in the Russell, where we finally broke out of that downward trend line uh, about a week or so ago. So we've got the Russell about a week behind on that uh, breakout that we saw in the Dow Transports. And all year long, both of these indices have mirrored each other. And that is a very bullish sign for us going forward in the near term. But anyway, we have a boatload of stocks to get through. So let's start off with the Kaboomers. ISR, which was one of our January popper plays from last week. We pressed our position, sent out that ad alert yesterday at 51 cents, and talk about perfect timing. We got some FDA news from the stock a few minutes before the open. Traded as high as 98 cents. That is almost a, what, 98% gain in one day. Of course, stock ended up selling off throughout the day as well as pre-market and you know we have a standing rule goes without saying whenever a stock spikes big automatically take a half off the table half two-thirds to three-quarters off the tables no questions asked money in the pocket especially when it blows through every single target we had in place and some on news so absolute monster january popper winner for us we also had another big popper H-E-B, um, this was another play from last week at 24 cents. Add to positions again yesterday on the flu move that we saw in some biotech stocks. 35 cents pre-market, almost a 50% gainer in this one in less than a week. Perfect. And, you know, just to go over another point, something that we've been working on a lot on a lot of these bounce plays, extreme negative MACDs are just rocking over the last couple of months, giving bottom indications on stock, especially when it's supported by moving average strength like we saw on HEB. And, you know, within a week or so, we see big moves on these plays. OPXA uh, was a play we jumped into yesterday. Very nice chart breakout. Biotech stocks have been red hot. We got a letter from the company. Nice comments in it. And, you know, it ended up popping nicely during the day. Got a little bit of a retrace back towards the close. But we've been seeing that happen a lot in stocks. You know, a lot of anger out there from a lot of penny flippers. You know, these are traders who sell plays for one or two cents. And they're just seeing stocks like ISR, HEB, 
blow up left and right, you know, probably a little bit of flipperitis on this stock. We'll see how it continues to the upside tomorrow. Couple of sleeper biotech stocks that we still have in play. IBIO, 200 day moving average at 44 cents is the target. The other one is DCTH. We actually got a break of the downtrend line today on this one. You'll probably really start to see them rush into this stock around 29, 30 cents, just like they did on HEB. I mean, why buy at 24, 25, and 26 cents when you can chase at 35 cents a couple of days later? We will probably see the same thing happen on DCTH where they start chasing around that first target zone of 35 cents on the way up to 40 cents. RSI breaking 50. We're about to go positive on money flow, which is pretty significant. If you look at this chart, this entire sell-off since October has seen negative money flow. And now we're about to pop back into that positive money flow area. So very, very bullish on the chart. ACST, the, this is one of my favorite setups right now. Downtrend break on this one over the last day or so. We're just waiting for that confirmation move above, a close above $1.30, and this will really start to pop on traders' radars. The 50-day moving average at 150 is the first target. You can see RSI has yet to get above that 50 level. We also have stochastics underneath that 50 level, but we see unbalanced volume starting to creep higher. So we've got a lot of positive divergences in this chart, which means it's only a matter of when, not if, this stock goes boom. New trading alert today, CRDC. A uh, couple of angles on this one, like I mentioned in the email alert. These guys... Uh, Filed for FDA 510 approval for their heart device back in August. The average time frame for FDA approval on a 501k or 510k is about four months, which would mean FDA approval could come any day. In itself, that is a great angle for a bounce on this stock. Secondary thing on this one is, Robotic plays have just been on fire lately. Everything's about robots and surgical uh, robotics is pretty much leading the charge right now. HNSM, which was one of our January popper plays, very, very nice move on this one over the last week. And believe it or not, CRDC is also a player in this market. Uh, they've actually licensed some of their robotic technology to ISRG, the giant in the surgical robotic arena. So that just tells you these guys have uh, lots of interesting stuff. Tax sellers out of the way. We've got uh, probably uh, a couple of tools still selling on this stock, but the real chase mode will come right around here, 115 to 120 area, and we could see a full gap fill back to that 135 zone. Another uh, biotech we jumped into today as well, uh, PBMD, trading alert, uh, $1.10 to $1.12 on this one. Small little cancer play that the last time we played this setup on PBMD back in November, the stock ran almost 80% for us in a couple of days. We are about to get a positive MACD cross. Stochastics right down where we like to see it on these bottom bouncing plays. Biotech stocks are on fire. Our first target was a buck twenty-two, which we tagged from the chart. You know, you know, just looking at previous resistance zones, ended up trading as high as a buck twenty-four before retracing into the close. Would look to add this one, buck twelve under. If we get another break through a dollar twenty tomorrow as well, that would be a very nice continuation move and another buy trigger on this stock. But loaded with cash. Cancer biotech stocks, biotech stocks, traders just can't get enough of them right now. The speculative money is flooding into the market. Biotech stocks are showing us that is the case. Vickle, finally, this one is one we've been very, very patient with. We got that breakout above $1.24 yesterday. Secondary breakout, one thirty-two. We got that into the close today. This is a stock, as you can see, that has pretty much flatlined over the last uh, five, six months that just could go on a monster move, especially in this market environment. Money flow has gone positive. Uh, 
a buck forty break on this one, and they are going to chase this one on big time volume. This move over the last couple of days has come on below average. Well, below average for big runs on this stock. So, based on how this stock traded today, I think tomorrow is going to be a big volume day on that. And if that is the case, we could see some substantial upside on this stock over the next couple of days. A couple of non-bio plays that we had: Wavex. Uh, you recall last week. January popper play, I said there was Samsung news coming into CES. Boom, Samsung news yesterday. Traded as high as a buck fifteen. hit our first target on the nose. Then down she came. Uh, shook out a lot of traders over the last couple of days. But what this action in WaveX. WaveX is a stock that this kind of manipulative bullcrap trading that we're seeing is not uncommon. It's been like this in this stock for years. Reminds me a lot of ETAK. You recall when we jumped into ETAK uh, back in December, we got that big spike up to a buck fourteen, sold all the way back down to where it was when we initially got in at ninety cents, and we all know what this stock did after that. It went up fifty cents, seventy-five percent over the following week. I suspect we're going to see the same thing happen on WaveX here. That was monster news with Samsung uh, yesterday. A lot of positive implications for that going forward. What we're seeing right here now, I believe, is the recent financing that happened along with some crookery. We saw the exact same thing on ETEC. Let's see where this stock is in the next week and revisit it then. But for now, I think it's a great hold down here and just be have a little bit of patience. Mevis, boom. Uh, very nice close on this one today, up to a buck fifty-five into the close. CES play. We better get some press release on this one tomorrow. We could see some weakness on it. So, a uh, good trail point on this one would be a buck forty stops and see if we get some news on this one tomorrow. The other CES play that we're waiting on is ASTI. Probably going to take. Uh, break of 80 cents to really light this one up or a press release and we could see this one trade at a dollar we're about to finally get our side a break above the 50 level this is the first time since the sell-off a couple of months ago stochastics bounce off 50 again another very manipulative stock um we just need that a very nice news release or continued strength that we're seeing in the solar stocks and this one should get picked up anad also waiting on a press release from this one Buck 98 is the breakout here. Last but not least, I save our latest play for today. HTM, US Geothermal. Now, if you have not had your head in the sand over the last few days, you have, of course, seen the monster moves in stocks like PLUG, BLDP, Fuel Cell, Capstone, I mean, it is just spread out all across the alternative fuel sector. I mean, we even had PEIX ethanol stock. Oops, wrong symbol there. Ethanol stocks up big, CEIR, I mean, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And that brings us back to HTM, geothermal energy. Another January popper candidate. You can see in November was up in the 50 cent zone. Down, 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 and consolidate in the 38 to 41 cent area over the last uh, three weeks. Nice bottoming action on this one. Um, interesting little tidbit here. These guys are profitable. They reported profits in their most recent earnings report, 200K in profits. Also, this is their strongest quarter of the year, the fourth quarter. And the reasoning being, as I mentioned in the chat room, cold weather equals big profits for this company. And this current cold wave that is hitting most of you in the country, only good news for uh, HTM. Penny stocks, this is the time of the year for them to blow out. Alternative energy stocks are on fire. Breakout is right here. We've got the 50-day and the 200-day moving average at 41 cents. 50 cents plus should be the target on a break of this 50 and 200 day moving average, possibly tomorrow. Uh, the real movement will come when we get a break of that 44 cent area, but there is no other stock like this in the alternative energy sector this cheap 
that is profitable. Trading down here with the sector on fire. This one should rock and roll upward tomorrow. So really like this one for a play over the next couple of days. So that's it for the video. Actually, you know what? I've got one other stock I wanted to mention real briefly. STRZA, one of our long-term plays. I've got a 50-plus target on this one. But we've got uh, what looks like a W formation on the chart. This one could be a very, very nice play on a break of 31. So keep an eye on that one. Have an awesome night, guys, and see you in the chat room tomorrow. Bye.